Okay, I found the waistband. Um, let me show you what I did instead of what the pattern called for. Let me get my chair around here. I got stuck on something. Okay, um, this was the pattern here. It says cut two on the fold. Um, when you add it all up, pretty much it's about the same size waistband when it when all when it's all said and done you end up with basically the same exact size waistband so my waistband is 12 inches by an inch and a half I made mine a little bit thicker than theirs would be but I didn't sew mine the same way they did um, they gave you very little waistband so I just added oh a little bit more than a quarter of an inch to my waistband Okay, so it doesn't really matter how you get it on, just make sure you have enough of an overlap so you can make that little um, tab wherever the other skirt went. I can't even find it now. Okay, let me get it. It's over here. I made that little... Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. I'm sure I did. I made that little um, tab there. But, um, you know, it's up to you. You probably don't even need that little tab if you don't want it because you can probably just overlap it without that little tab and you'll still have plenty of space to keep it. Um, you can also put a, a, a set of Velcro. If you don't like Velcro, you can put a um, buttonhole in. Okay, just make sure you have your right sides together. I had the wrong sides together. And we're going to um, just attach the waistband we're going to have a little bit of an overlap so we'll just cut it off so let's go ahead and put a pin here let's see how much that is on the other side let's see this is where I want that little tab to be so let's go ahead and start on this side and that will be plenty so all we're doing is sewing on the waistband So just line it up. Make sure that your um, uh, pleats are laying flat. So just pin it on. If there's any extra, no worries. Just cut it off. This is pretty much like sewing on any other waistband, so if I don't film the whole thing, it's just the same thing. Same thing as that simple skirt video, if you ever watch that. Same thing. I mean, you know, there's not that many ways you can do a skirt as far as sewing on the waistband. Okay, so turn it around and make sure all your, um, all your uh, pleats are laying flat before you sew it because if they're not flat when you go to sew your pleats are going to look terrible hanging from your waistband so if you have to use some extra pins that's better than having to take everything out and start all over again so you know it's not that hard to just make sure your fabrics pulled down and put in a couple extra pins because you want those pleats to lay flat and because your because your basting stitch was away from your sew line um, that's when the chances of um, getting them bent in the wrong position is easy that is an easy is an easy thing to happen so putting in an extra couple pins while you're sewing isn't that bad of a deal save you time in the long run and they're already basted in the right location, so all you're doing is securing them. Okay, that's there. There you go. See, I would have had a big old um, buckle there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and go to our regular stitch. 
Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and sew this like I would sew any other seam, just straight down. Okay, so we're going to do a couple back stitches to secure our stitch, and then just start sewing. I'm also sewing on the side where the pleats are too, so I can double check my pleats to make sure they're laying flat. Because my other waistband is a flat piece of fabric, so it should just lay flat across the other side. As far as turning the waistband down and um, putting the finish on it, I did mine by sewing machine, but you can do it by hand if you don't want that seam to show. But your stomacher is going to cover that up anyway, so you know you might as well make it easy on yourself. sewed on. So there's that. Make sure everything looks good. We got some threads I need to cut off here. Okay, so we've got that. Alright, so now we've got our waistband sewed on. So um, I didn't do anything, I didn't fuss with my waistband like I did with the simple skirt. All I did was um, take my seam, turn down, turn down my edge like this, turn down my other edge and then I just um, made that little tab just like that. I didn't even um, I didn't even um, fuss with it. I just did it. I, um, you know the reason I did it that way too is because it was the underskirt and I didn't think that was it was that big of a deal. But you know now that that, that I know how to do this, I would probably um, do a nicer job because, um, like I said, you can uh, take this skirt and wear it um, as um, an, uh, with another nice little blouse and it would be real cute. Okay, so as far as the side that doesn't have an overlap, you can go ahead and trim that down. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to um, turn down one, turn that, pull this up, turn this in. Turn your a quarter of an inch down, cover it just like that, and that's how you're going to sew it. Okay, so on this side of your skirt, you're going to put the um, your Velcro, and um, on the other side will be the the hard the hard plastic. This will be the uh, soft. Well, you can do it either way; it doesn't really matter however you like your Velcro to go on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin this all the way down across just like I did. This one's going to be flush with this edge and this one's going to have that little um, uh, let me turn that down one more so you can see what I mean. Okay, So this side is going to have that little tab on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew that, make sure it's nice and even. I'm going to sew all the way across after I pin all my waistband down. I'll do it real fast so you can see, but I won't do it on camera because it's just too time consuming. Okay, so turn it. I hope you're in the camera. Put your waist, put your pins in. 
get it all nice and straight and then you're going to just sew across that just like that okay just like this there's my line see I don't really care for that and I was just you know um, doing that but I'm gonna do a neater job on this one but basically all that is is um, putting a line of stitching across and holding your waistband down. If you don't want to see any stitching on this and you like that nice softer look to it, then just whip stitch it closed. But you're still going to have to um, put your Velcro here like this and we're going to do our side seam, our back seam. So when we sew our back seam, how we're going to do it, we're going to go to where that flap was. We're just going to line it all up and we're going to open up that flap here and we're going to sew up the back of the skirt all the way to we're going to put these together sew them up right up to that point where we put that stitch on the one side and that will secure our back so when we do that when we sew that let me put a pin so you can see what I mean I'm going to sew all the way up to that one spot Okay, so that when I open up my skirt, we're going to have that one overlapping, this one like that. And you're not even going to be able to see where those two overlap in the back. And that's how you do the underskirt. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's a pretty simple underskirt. And that's going to be that. Okay. So I'm not going to do this all on camera because i got to even out all those seams and it takes a long time to get them all laid up before I can sew them. I may go ahead and um, do this, stitch this up by hand because this is such a pretty fabric and I think I'd ruin it with an overstitch on it. But we'll see. Okay, so um, I'll finish up the overskirt and then we will um, get going on the um, stomacher and the um, overskirt.